So the first step is we're going to remove the kickstand that's here using a three millimeter Allen key. There are two screws that you need to remove. Next, we'll remove the plastic cover that's underneath the scooter. Using a four millimeter Allen key, there are six screws that you need to remove. So once all screws are off, we can remove the plastic plate that's underneath the scooter. What you just gotta be careful is the charging port that's over here, and ideally you disconnect it. That way you can be sure that you're not ripping out the cable. Once that's out, we can remove the screws that are holding the metal plate that's underneath the scooter. And now the metal plate should easily come off. Now, since the fender is connected to the rear light, we'll have to just disconnect the rear light over here. And next, we can start actually removing the fender. There should be two screws with Allen keys that are still four millimeters, and then three that are Phillips screwdrivers. And now right underneath the fender, so not on this side, but on the opposite side, there are two four millimeter Allen screws, and that's what is remaining that's holding the fender in place. With the last screw off, the panda should remove itself. Just make sure that you're passing the cable through for the rear light. And there you go, your old fender is off. And now we can start putting our new fender on. So we'll pass through that cable in that same hole. And for now, we're just going to leave it there. Once you've passed through the cable, you can align the holes. That way you can start screwing in. Once these are nice and tight, we can reconnect the cable for the rear light. And we'll pass the cable through this little rubber piece here. Just make it go so that it's flush against the top. And we'll reconnect the rear headlight. And now we can put the metal plate back on. Make sure that all the cables are nice and tidy before putting it on. There we go, and we can put those eight screws back on. How you're going to go is those two first that are here, then you gotta skip two, then go to the next. Skip two, go to the next, skip two, and go to the next. Finally, we can put on the kickstand. This time using the three millimeter Allen key. And finally, the two last screws holding the rear fender. Make sure they're nice and tight. And that's it. That's how you change your rear fender on the Apollo Air.